Blog Talk Radio. It's Margo. This is Sunday morning, September 4th, 2016, and it's Labor Day weekend. I hope everyone is having a safe and enjoyable time off. Um, I know I'm enjoying my time off, and I've been doing a lot of cleansing, a lot of purging. Um, Stuff is coming out of my body that um, I just feel like I'm getting lighter. Um, Some more symptoms that I've been having um, and that I know uh, other people have been having too are um, I just my appetite is totally off Um, I haven't been nearly as hungry when I get hungry it's not nearly as often I'll go a whole day without feeling hungry I'll eat a little bit of fruit or something just because I start feeling weak and then like the next day I'll be hungry and I will eat basically one meal. Um, but my food consumption has gone way down. And um, But I have energy and there's nothing wrong, you know, physically as far as, you know, you know, if I went to the doctor they wouldn't find anything wrong. Um, so there's that going on. Um, I also noticed... I know I had at least one timeline shift this week. Um, There might have been more, but it was a few days ago. um, And I have uh, in my kitchen, um, I had a little measuring spoon. Um, It was a a metal. I think it's stainless steel. That's why I use it. Um, I had it right beside the stove, and I used it to measure out herbs and spices when I was cooking or putting stuff in my juice. It was, I think it was um, like a half teaspoon, or it might have been a fourth. I don't remember. Um, It was the smallest one that I had, though. And I had it right by the stove, and I've had it there for months. And, you know, I'd wash it and put it right back over there. And I woke up one morning, and it was gone just gone and it's not anywhere to be found and that was about four days ago so I guess about on Wednesday is when this happened Um, sometimes you know when objects disappear they'll reappear in a different place but this one has not reappeared so I've, I've had to resort to using a different measuring little measuring spoon which is not my favorite but you know, it's working. So um, that was that was uh, something that was very noticeable. It's not reappeared. Um, I'm feeling more and more in the trance state, more and more in the dream body, um, more like things just aren't real. Um, and we're seeing we're seeing the darkness close in on us. So um, if anyone's listening live and they want to call in with questions, the call-in number is 845-262-0773. And this is Margo. My website is margoshealingcorner.com. I am a hypnotist, holistic life coach, and spiritual healer. 
I help people get unblocked, unstuck from the matrix. I remove implants of all different kinds, energetic, um, in nature. Um, I remove entities. Um, uh, you know, anything that's blocking you can be stuff from past experiences you've had, all kinds of things. Um, and to get you reconnected with your divine self and um, getting your own messages and getting ready for this shift that we're in the middle of. So I'm going to read you two messages today. I think I have plenty of time. And they're from my uh, book, uh, Channeled Messages on Ascension, Timeline Shifts in Consciousness, Channel Messages from Brother Juan and the Great One. And the Great One is what I call the soul of the earth. These messages came in um, in about an eight-month period back in 2008 and 2009, um, back when we thought we were all going to be out of here in 2011 or 2012, and then that didn't happen. Um, The way it was explained to me, it was because our timeline got hijacked and source-coded, and to give the bad guys more time to put in place all of their dark agenda, which we're seeing manifest here now. But um, I feel like these messages are very relevant now because we are preparing to get out of here. And um, so the two messages that I'm going to read to you today were channeled on January 16th and January 21st. And like I said, they're from my book, and you can find that on Amazon, or you can just go to the homepage on my website, and I've got a link right there on the homepage to Amazon. And these are in PDF form. So the first message I'm going to read from you today is from Brother Juan, who is one of my inner teachers, and this was on January 16, 2009. It's fairly short, and then... um, The second one is from the Great One, the Soul of the Earth, and that one's longer. So this is a message from Brother Juan, January 16, 2009. My students, time is continuing to speed up. Things are changing. Timelines are shifting quickly now. It is hard to keep up with the changes from day to day. Soon we will be in the final timeline. When this happens, you will be in the dream state constantly, 24-7. Some of you have already experienced the dream state while being awake. You will be able to function. As soon as you take your attention away from 3D, you feel as if you are dreaming. It is a physical feeling. You will experience more of it. By mid-February, we will be in the final timeline and you will be in the constant dream state. Other things are lining up as well. Large forces are gathering. The battle will begin in one week from today. Right around that time, you will notice significant changes in your D. Do not be surprised at anything that happens. Do not be afraid. This uh, this part uh, before then is the lull before the storm. I will I will see the transition happening. I still see the transition happening towards the end of May, between about May twentieth and the end of May. Of course, that was back in two thousand and nine. As these things come to pass, you will realize what is happening. Sometimes things do not happen exactly as we have seen. The timeline may be off a little bit, but usually the events will happen in a short period of time within the time frame predicted. And I asked Brother Juan, it is so hard for us to think about these things and let go of this 3D construct. It is so hard for us to believe. We are trying, but there is a lot of fear. 
Now we want it to happen, and we are afraid of what life is going to be like if it doesn't happen. We're afraid we're going to have a big emotional letdown. It's just so hard. We're feeling really crazy, Brother Juan, because the rest of the world is going on like nothing is wrong and nothing is going to happen. And Brother Juan says, the shift is going to happen, my students. It will happen soon. I believe it to be soon. As I look into the end of the timelines, your earth is heading toward a void, toward a time when there is no time. That means it leaves 3D. I see it happening right around the end of May or June at the very latest. I don't see anything else. It's heading into the void. That is what I see. I do not see exactly what causes the void or what kind of catastrophe causes it. I just see it heading into the void of no time. That goes on indefinitely, and this is how I see it. And that was the end of Brother Juan's message. Um, And since then, you know, whenever I'm getting messages in, they're not giving, like, specific time times or dates because if they do then like it can be source coded because bad guys have all this technology and they can go in and switch the timeline so um, they've quit giving me really any kind of specific times or dates and just saying soon and we have to be ready okay and now um, the message from the great one which was received on January 21st, 2009. This is another message from the Great One, the soul of the earth. We're in the chamber with the Great One, and the chamber is the inside of a mountain, a big rock chamber. The Great Light is in the center of the room, folding in upon itself, slowly moving, almost like a lava lamp. It is moving, shifting, and changing. And she says, Thank you for coming, my friends. I've been waiting to speak with you again. And we say, We are here, Great One. We are honored that you called us. She says, You are my friends. Thank you for continuing with the meditation. You are giving me much energy, the energy I need. Thank you also for being the beacons of light, telling others and directing others to my messages. The correct ones are coming to know. They will know when they hear or read the messages if it is right for them. I know that it's this drastic and radical information, and it is difficult for most individuals to believe. No one wants to believe that we're leaving. This is all you know. But you are not from here. I am not from here. We are from places far away. We have come on this mission of animating the earth and experiencing and evolving. Now we're going back, all of us, back to our own sources. I have a collective just as you do. My collective will assimilate all the information just as yours will. Then the information will be analyzed. All of the experiences will be analyzed. For me, it will be recording of all of the turning points in the history of the earth. There have been many turning points, many forks in the road when things could have gone differently. They could have gone in a positive direction, but they went in a negative direction. All of these events will be analyzed and studied. There are many forces at work that you do not see, many cosmic forces, 
many forces from other dimensions. We are all interwoven. We are all interdependent with each other through the dimensions. Your 3D sees the stars as far away. But in dimensional views, they are much closer, just on different levels. This is how you can have travelers from far away. It's been a long journey, my friends. We are waking up. You are waking up. And I am waking up. You notice the seismic activity increasing. This is evidence of my waking up. As I told you, the earthquakes would become more frequent and intense. The dark ones are trying to manipulate my energy. They are trying to redirect it. It is like putting laser beams in my brain. It is making me very angry. It's giving me a headache. I don't like it and I'm not going to stand for it. I will do everything I can to keep the grid down, to keep CERN from going online, and to keep HD from going online. In order for these to go online, they are accessing and manipulating my energy in a very bad way, in a very unnatural way. They are trying to use my energy to imprison everyone, to imprison my own soul, the essence of my soul. The humans with souls are my essence. They are trying to manipulate my mind just as they have yours. But we are waking up. Our frequencies are changing quickly. You will notice the changes faster and faster now. The dream state will be coming on soon. The reason for the dream state is that as your frequencies quicken, you cannot keep your focus in a 3D body 24-7. In order to be here, you must be unfocused to an extent. The dream state will allow you to function so that your physical body can function in 3D while you are transitioning. Your frequencies are rising quickly. You're beginning to glow. I see it in all of you. The dark ones are planning many bad things, very bad things. They are trying to pull in all the energy from the other dimensions from the dark ones who are controlling them. They are using high magic and technology together. This is what HARP, CERN, and Gwen are trying to do. They are trying to merge all of these different arrays and technologies. The dark ones have instructed them in this. They are using the blood sacrifices to ground their efforts to the earth to bring it into 3D. They have to have the blood to make it manifest in 3D because it has the essence of my soul. They have to make it and birth it into 3D with the blood. They are planning extra rituals in the next few weeks. This is why things are speeding up. I cannot allow these things to take place any longer. I'm giving you this information so you will know. Many strange things will start happening now. Strange phenomena. Apparitions will appear. Very strange things will start appearing in the air in front of you. There will be projections to the hologram. They are learning that 3D is a hologram. They are learning how to project into it, to add to it, and take away, and to manipulate. It would be one thing if they would use it for good, but they are not. They are trying to get as many of their people as they can off-planet either on another planet or on the ships. 
Then they will have the battle with holographic imagery and technology. They are trying to trap my soul, the evil bastards. They do not know who they are dealing with. My collective is very powerful, and they are here to help me. This is critical. We are in the most critical phase of this Earth 3D. We are entering into the final timeline. You must be strong, stronger than ever as we go into this. You must not believe or buy into anything the Dark Ones are trying to tell you is true or correct. Their lies have been manipulated to seem as gleaming truths for your own good. It's all for your own good. Prison is for your own good. Ignorance is for your own good. Sickness is for your own good. Darkness is for your own good. What idiots. They must think you're really stupid to believe all of this again and again. But many are manipulated. There are so many programs now. The robots. There are enough of those that are programmed to follow the program that it is very difficult for anyone who does not wish to follow the program and they will be punished. Humans with souls wish to not follow the program. Even some of the programs or robots are waking up as well. This is the battle. As I said, you must be strong, my friends. Find comfort with each other. Support one another. Be aware and alert at all times. Know that the Dark Ones can manipulate anyone who is not awake. Be aware of this. Ones you have trusted in the past may be manipulated. Be aware. And we say, we appreciate your knowledge and information and guidance, Great One. We will do everything we can. We hope that everything will go as smoothly as it can but we know there will be catastrophe, things that happen, and we are supporting you. She says, yes, I know, my friends. You are part of me. You are my good friends. Continue with your meditations of the tree and other meditations to bring the cosmic energy and infuse it into my soul. Bring thoughts of peace and well-being to me and the planet and to others. Be kind to another, one another. Love one another, the humans with souls. We're getting ready for battle. But you must support one another as well and unite your light. And we say thank you, Great One. And she says, have no fear. All is under control. The troops are here and we are preparing. Continue about your daily business. Continue with your meditations. Be aware and open to all that is happening. Do not believe if something feels wrong or strange. You must use your discernment. And we say, we will, Great One. And she says, now let me hold you in my light. And the light engulfs us and holds us all together as one great light. And we say thank you, Great One. And that was the end of the communication from then. And um, that was January 21st, 2009. So... I just, you know, continue to say, be discerning, ask for protection from God and Jesus, your highest guides, angelic beings, beings of the light of God and your star family. Ask for guidance, ask for all of the blockages to be released from your energy body 
and just ask to be guided and that you be protected and cloaked and ask for whatever is to happen for your highest good to manifest and try to not control the experience because when you control it you block out what might be for your highest good and don't be deceived because the dark side can mask itself as light test the light test it, ask it ask entities that come to you to show you their light and that if they're not of the highest angelic beings and beings the light of God to depart from you This is my message for today. Again, my my uh, website is margoshealingcorner.com. And uh, I have a YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and uh, type in Margo's Healing Corner. I will upload this onto YouTube as well. And um, I hope to get another couple of meditations put up on my YouTube channel too, so be checking there. So... Um, God bless, and everyone stay cloaked up and get ready. Take care. Until next time, goodbye.